holding a news conference conjures up some unusual and perhaps interesting ideas about social comment. Uh, it was held inside this building, Dorothy Connors Bail Bonds, and Miss Connor proudly says that she is the Hells Angels' official bail bondsman. They were all here, all five of them anyway, Tiny Walter, Sonny Barger, better known as Ralph Barger, the president of the Hells Angels, and three others. And here's how it went. Although we've stated our intention to demonstrate at this despicable, un-American activity, we believe that in the interest of public safety and the protection of the good name of the city of Oakland, we should not justify the VDC with our presence. We intend to absence ourselves from the scene, and we encourage all citizens to do the same. Sonny, isn't this a complete turnaround uh, as far as the Hells Angels are concerned? You people aren't used to doing what you're told to do, are you? Well, the thing of it is, is we haven't been told to do nothing. This is our own decision. And uh, the thing is, we think it's best for the country. Are you so going to stay in Oakland or go somewhere else? Well, we'll do whatever we usually do on a normal Saturday. What's that? What's that? Just probably go to the bar and drink a few sides. The reasons we have made this judgment is because, number one, our patriotic concern for what these people are doing to our great nation may provoke violent acts by us. Although the majority of citizens feel as we do, we believe that any physical encounter would only produce sympathy for this mob of traitors. If a riot occurs, we want it clear that the Hells Angels did not precipitate it. Any violation of the law may be laid at the doorstep of the VDC. They are the irresponsible group in this community. While you disagree with their philosophy, do you agree they have the right to march? I don't want to make no more statements. That's our feeling about it, and that's it. Here's a letter that we sent to a telegram to President Johnson. Can you read that for us? Read it. It's President Lyndon B. Johnson, 1600 Pennsylvania Ave, Washington, D.C. Dear Mr. President, on behalf of myself and my associates, I volunteer a group of loyal Americans for behind-the-line duty in Vietnam. We feel that a crack group of trained guerrillas could demoralize the Viet Cong and advance the cause of freedom. We are available for training and duty immediately. Sincerely, Ralph Barger, Hells Angels, Oakland, California. You feel especially qualified for guerrilla activity? Well, people have been calling us that for years. Well, I think we all got guts. We're not afraid to fight for what we believe in. Do the women of the Hells Angels agree with your decisions? There's no women in the Hells Angels. Well, your girlfriend. Do they think your decision's a wise one? They have no say about it. <laughs> Sonny, uh, Sonny. Have you had any training along those lines? I had jungle training when I was in the service. How about the general activities of the Hells Angels? <laughs> Could you announce the names of all these people from left to right?